This episode is brought to you in part by Patreon.com. Patreon.com forward slash Defense of the Patients. We wanted to just give a quick shout out to the only way currently at the moment, this Amazon a little bit, but mostly Patreon. Uh, this is the way we can pay our show hosts, the way that we can advertise. Denny, are you going to talk? Are you just going to oh, sit there? Oh, I, I thought you were doing this one all alone. No. Uh, I thought no. you were doing this one all alone. I yeah, no, it's, it, it keeps the lights on. It is the... Keeps the lights on. I love uh, that. Yeah. Like... Well, I mean, that's the that's the old turn of phrase. Okay. All right. Let's keep okay. the lights on. Keep uh, the lights on. Lights are on right now because <laughs> of are. you guys. The AC has been on today uh, mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, You're even powering our computers. Yeah, um, powering the PCs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a big deal. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have a ton of great rewards there. Uh, we're about to release the first uh, high def background. Uh, oh, I already released it. Oh, you did? Did you put, yeah, I, uh, submit it through Patreon? Yes, as a patron only post. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. basically, you're going to get backgrounds as they come out. You're going to get, you're going to get all sorts of designs. T shirt uh, designs. You're going to get whatever, like there's tiers, whatever. It doesn't. The, the big thing is it's not a marketplace. You are helping us, and we're just trying to give back what little we can to you for helping us. Like I said, I'm going to do some shout-outs. I'm going to do a shit ton of shout-outs right, to right, five let's different hear them. people. Let's hear them. Uh, Tim K., thank you so much. You have done wonders for, uh, for, this, for this show, and I can't thank you enough. Matt V., you as well. Nido King. <sighs> Chilled Wind. Mm. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to just pass over children. Okay, yeah, yeah, skip over uh, that. And then uh, Scottson S, uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, we're doing these five at a time. These are shout outs to you guys. It's not even shout outs. It's like, thank you to our like investors. Thank you for believing in us. We're going to continue yeah. to do shows because of you. Denny and I would have quit a long time ago if it weren't for you guys. We're in it for the money. Let's be real. <laughs> So, right. so all that Patreon, money. <laughs> this Patreon money, we need more, and the you know the monster truck thing yeah, for anybody uh, that gets uh, that. I'm definitely so if you guys want to donate, definitely getting close. Go to patreoncom forward slash defense of the patients. Check out the rewards. Uh, we're doing our damnedest to fulfill those as quickly as possible. Do you think I could rent a monster truck for a decent price to and drive it? Do I need um, some special like monster truck license? Yeah, I, I sure. Let's is go, it like commercial let's go vehicle? You do need a special license. Let's go with that. I wonder how much it would be for me to rent a monster truck and then you can be like, I'm running over cars, Denny, and you could get me because I'm a less than the Patreon offers right now. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. if you want to see me in a monster truck, <laughs> keep on keep on donating to Patreon, oh, pledging to Patreon. What we, a deterrent. We uh we really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Defense of the Patients. Welcome to the second try on an episode of Defense of the Patients. I did a thing where I put a marker on there. We, we, you act like, we we have restarted episodes before where we went like a full hour plus. Yeah. Uh, well, this you was, just wasted two minutes of my this time. This was maybe you, 45 seconds. Two minutes of my time, Maybe okay. 45 seconds. <laughs> I could have been shooting terrorists uh, in Counter-Strike. Yeah, I could have been, right. been delving deeper into my 2k-ness yeah uh so we're dota 2 podcast i'm cyphus that's roland thanks um yeah usually you're like i'm cyphus and with me is roland and i get to like say hi oh I'm this cyphus, time that's roland there you go hey everybody, everybody oh my gosh who thanks, we are. thanks we for... get into it and then we jibber jabber oh uh, i will tell you not everybody knows who we are <laughs> <laughs> i will tell you that i'm much. saying they know who we are because i just introduced us and then oh, boom we're okay. good we're good to go okay. we're good to go all the new folks who are you to say that everybody knows I'm, us you know i'm not that i'm not claiming that okay i'm not claiming that by a long shot that is evidence every time we make top of our dota there's always somebody who like, the <laughs> fuck is defense of the patients and why the hell are they at the top of our dota it's like, oh. <laughs> it's like oh we're a small following we're, we're, <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're kind of like a cult uh if you'd like to join we will be killing ourselves come 2021 mm -hmm. uh because that that is the end of days uh, according to gaben uh we follow gaben 2021 law. is the end of days according to gaben huh yeah gaben yeah wow. gaben put out a, a big long scripture where i missed that tweet i guess it wasn't yeah. a tweet oh, um, okay the tweet was to too good again um <laughs> oh, the, <no>. oh. <laughs> it was it was more a, a secret blog that i followed uh -huh. that i'm pretty sure is gaben but yeah. it might just be an adventist church i'm okay. not i'm not yeah. sure <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and mm, okay say and 
could just be the Adventist church. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, All right, seventh, so seventh day, I believe. Today, I on today's episode, we're going to talk about probably calibration games for sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, instead of competing, why not build each other up? Okay. And that's that's the route because I took. Because healthy competition is good. There was I'm not a time gonna, when, I'm not gonna when you were competitive. You. There was I, a time. I don't care. I, I, you know what I mean? I, but I feel like you're, you see, it actually saddens me a little bit to see you not care. I am. Well, for one, I, I'm playing Dota, as you know. Uh-huh. We played some uh-huh. games today. I played I IO twice. Uh, one game was really fun. Mm-hmm. The other game is still really fun because IO is fun to play. Yeah. Um, and when you're in the studio with me playing, mm-hmm. we finally have the coordination to play an IO yeah. game. Sure. Um, so I think, I think we I've do been that. enjoying Dota, but I've also been playing. I've been cheating on Dota a little bit. I know. All um, over the place. I'm killing terrorists and I'm planting bombs sometimes. It depends. Uh, I'm going to cheat on Dota this weekend with Friday the 13th. I'm That's doing, my big plan. Yeah, I'm playing Friday the 13th. Um, we are going to be launching new uh, podcasts and... Uh, that's about that. Um, and I'm, and I'm uh, <laughs> such a lackluster. Yeah, I know. So basically, look out for uh, CS:GO podcast coming out from Defense and of the Patients. Possibly PUBG. We're we're and we're possibly gonna, PUBG. Yeah, we're gonna be branching out. That's the that's always been that's always it's always been the goal. Been um, the plan was you know, to branch out into other games. So um, me and old Wazoo, if you remember the the Wazmataz, uh, we're going to be starting up a show on Counter Strike. Um, from a new perspective, uh, I'm not very good, although I feel fucking good every time i'm in there headshot 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 uh-huh. uh but i only use like two guns like if i'm a terrorist i mm-hmm. use an ak if i'm a if i'm a counter terrorist i use an m4 mm-hmm. so which is like a small version of an m16 you don't use the m416. Op at all? no i'm not one of those people that just sits mid and just g- goes for like easy bait dude <laughs> okay that's lame i don't uh, even yeah. feel like that's playing the game that's basically like jungle legion is what okay. i'm is what i'm starting to figure out or like these people that sit with ops and just don't move and just hope that somebody comes in their crosshairs. Like that is that is Legion Commander. Like everybody hates them, but they're sometimes they're good. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, sometimes they're right. Yeah, you know. every, everybody hates them, but sometimes they do good. Okay, all right. Uh, and because I'm in such a low bracket, we don't get like good Legion jungles. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Where like they they eventually move and they do things. Yeah. No, they just stay. They yeah, just stay timings. in one spot. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. So. Um, but I am still, I mean, of course, Dota is is my game, but now I have this other game that I can just pop into and shoot some people and feel really good about myself when Doppy Roland had the most eliminations this round and I get MVP. But anyway, this is the Dota 2 yes, podcast. that's right. We're going to, so we're also, so in addition to talking about the calibration games and your latest games, um, we are going to do some iTunes reviews, uh, but first... First and foremost, uh, so the Dungeons and Dota stream. This, this is what we were talking about in round, run one of this, uh, yeah, this yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are going to finish that thing. Uh, obviously, we took off last week from the Saturday show, uh, largely because we thought we were going to be going all night that Saturday with with the stream. I did go all um, night that Saturday, just not with the stream. <laughs> not with the stream. Uh, so, for those who may have tuned in or were wondering what happened with it. Uh, we had uh, one. We had huge technical issues. Uh, I don't know. I think it was the like the biggest technical issues we've ever encountered. So I'm I'm gonna plug the service because I I, I really like it and I think I'm gonna use it in future D and D campaigns for like for uploading maps and uh, it has a built in fog of war simulator. It's it, it's super cool. What is it? Roll twenty. Yeah, roll twenty dot net. Um, but for some reason, whenever we were connected to roll 20.net, cause it, it wants was... to use your microphone and it wants to use your, uh, your webcam and it's like, yeah. no roll 20.net. <laughs> yeah. We want to use a worse Except program. On yours, it wasn't even using your webcam. It was, it was duplicating the XSplit broadcast, which it was, was fascinating. It was I don't nuts. know. So I basically, I don't know why it was doing that. And the other problem is, is we had people jumping in five minutes before we were starting. So our technical issues came from. Lack of preparation on getting people into Roll20.net. I just didn't... Ass- I, I, but here's the thing is, getting into Roll20.net is super easy. It's pretty fucking quick. You can get somebody in there five minutes before a session be fine. The issue is the way that it was interfacing with our equipment here because every time Proud or Ursi or Grouty were talking, all I heard was the worst metallic robotic like buzzing noise just, and i couldn't even make what, out anything they said it's kind of what grouty sounds like but everybody else yeah, yeah everybody um, else it was a problem for sure um, oh man i love it when when we get serious grouty i got a serious grouty message this week oh i'm not gonna say what it was about or anything <laughs> but it was like a hey 
I'm grouty and I'm being serious right now. <laughs> and, I was, and I just had to like step back from the computer. I love grouty. He's been I, helpful I, this week. He Sure, he's been helpful. But like, I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> I laughed when I read yeah. it. Because uh, serious grouty is, well, a, is a grouty not to mess with. But no, like, I'll give him a shout out because we've been working on. We can talk about this, right? We've been working no. On our, uh, no, we can't. I can't we're working on a, a slide deck. I can't say that. No. That's that's secret that's information. Secret information. Why is that secret information? That's I feel secret. like some it's people not. would actually view it that no. way. I know. I, no, I, we're, I we're think, going heavily but, transparent. So can I give the story? Um, I, I mean, I don't want to like over. I don't want to. There's kind of not going to be gushing if that's what you're worried about. Sure. Give, yeah. Uh, okay. So, Suns fan, good friend of defense of the patients. Yeah. Uh, he's been around for since for, since the very first time we had Suns fan and Sajdeen. They came on as a pair. Uh, on defense of the patients probably around two years ago maybe a year and a half ago yeah we developed a good rapport with the two of them and we've stayed in touch which is cool just kind of how it works on the internet you meet people and if you jive you jive if you don't you well, don't and sagittarian and and sons have both have hooked us up with people that we've had with, on the show oh, before. the misery the misery episode would not have been possible if yeah. it weren't for sons fan and sagittarian um basically they have they have been very willing to help defense of the patients grow at no cost. Um, yeah, they've been just really nice. out of the kindness of their heart. Uh, we've had Suns fan on a bunch of times, Sajidine only once. But anyway, I I messaged Suns fan and I'm like, hey, like we're we're we need to figure out this advertising thing. And he's like, Bing, talk to Sajidine. And Bing, all of a sudden we're on Evolve Talent Agency with Sajidine, um, and she's representing us. Um, shout out to Evolve Talent Agency, they're really cool. Um, this is their, this is yeah, a free fight for them. Working with them for sure. Sajidine is basically, uh, what our manager, uh, agent, agent, our agent. agent. So, um, we're really happy to be working with Sajidine. It's awesome to be able to work with Sajidine on a daily basis. Um, cause before it was, you know, Hey, how are things going? You know, good. Glad to see that the last tournament went well. That's it. Yeah. And now we're in constant communication, which she's extremely good at what she does. I will yeah. say that, uh, Sajidine is beyond smart when it comes to this type of thing yeah, so definitely. um we're building slide decks to send out to advertisers with the under the supervision i guess you could say of sagenine yeah. and grady was a huge that, this is where it all that yeah. story whole, the whole thing began. Grady, grady was a huge help because like i man when we when when certain terms started being thrown around like value ads and and God, i like was that, lost I to was like, like roi what's up uh, no, well no, i know what roi means <laughs> the value ads i was just like we have no value to add. <laughs> I was just like, what are we going to do? Yeah. And uh, Grouty is a genius and sent over, basically, he sent over like a, a, a template that I used to build the actual slide. No, and I just completely ripped off no, Grouty's good. in there. Grouty's good. I'm just saying, when you get serious, because usually you have this happy-go-lucky Grouty, but when you get serious Grouty, and I got serious Grouty, and it all worked out. You know what I mean? So uh, I, it was just kind of like I was taken aback. <laughs> I was just like, wow, this is serious grouty right now. So I'm, I'm going to coin lightly. a term here. What? I jack rolled him the other day. You jack rolled him. And I don't I, know what that means. Do you know what Rick rolling is? Uh, I know. Never going to give you right. up. So Rick rolling is where you send somebody a link you or you're like, oh, hey, you got to check out this awesome video of so-and-so doing something, something. Mm-hmm. And then it's just, you know, Rick's. Is it Rick Springfield? I think it's Rick Springfield. Uh, it's not. Maybe I'm. I'm probably. Completely I'm wrong. sure it's Rick something. Yeah, I. I. I want to say Springfield. I don't I'm know never gonna like. get Anyway, you yeah, it's that song. It's that video. Gonna so let you, down. you know the Jack meme. Oh, I mean, yeah. The the KBBQ Korean barbecue meme. So you guys got, are also proud of that the Jack has space. yet to respond to. I'm sure Jack. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Jack is, sure thrilled. Jack is thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> so I took that, and now I'm gonna start Jack rolling people. And uh, I so I posted in the Twitch chat while he was casting the when in houses the other night. I was like, wow, a rare image of uh, Grout F at Grouty Dota wrecking in a pub, and then it's just Jack. Just, well, it's just, just it's an elated Jack. It's a it's a weird look. It's a I, I got to weird the face weird up. looking. No, no, no. Isn't right. It's not because it's not elated. I, looks, I'm not saying he weird. Looks, uh, he looks like uh, he looks like somebody was like, "Hey, by the way, you just made a million dollars," and that's the face you make. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Uh, which nobody knows because it's a podcast, and that was a bad idea to bring that up because now they're going to be like, "What's that face look like?" Maybe no, we'll everybody it knows it's a ca- uh, cap. Uh, Not everybody knows. I didn't. Well, know. I mean, people can find it. Go look at Cap's tweet, or just go into the Discord and type in uh, right, uh, the right. Jack meme. Let's talk about Dota. I want to describe the Jack face though because it's not elated. It's uh, it's like a mischievous happy. Let's see. I got it right here. It's uh. Yeah, it's it's a I might have just banged your girlfriend look almost, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, but I'm, you know, but I'm happy about it. You know, it might, okay, it's that enough, kind of look. enough. I can't talk about Jack. I, love no, Jack. I would like to talk right. about Dota. Well, Jack's part of Dota. Jack is part of Dota. In Jack, a way. some would say, is Dota. Jack is Dota in no. for sure. <laughs> anyway, um, but I want to talk about you. Okay, for right. a little while. Calibration um, games. What do you think? Your game four? Yeah, so game four was a little lower than that one. It was like Does, 27, 30 something. You were like, you were like um, 15, 6, and 24 in that game. So we're yeah, talking after you, a pretty miserable 40, start. What is 40 divided by 6? You're like 6.5 KDA probably on that game. Yeah, I could see it going up. I feel confident that I'll be over 27 at this point. I feel okay. pretty good about that. Um, you heard it here first. The, you think you're going to calibrate? Let's just get a number exact like let's see mm, i'll go 27 40 20 like you're not even gonna put like a one or a no, three like 27 40, 40. you're not gonna get exactly 27 no 40. I, you know i might you don't know um i guess zero is a number too but so i um, i woke up this morning um and I, I i got up super I, you know those mornings when you wake up like before your alarm and it's just kind of like ah fuck it i'm up no but go on. A, oh <laughs> go on. I woke up at six thirty, and I wasn't going to go in today until eight. So, and and I'm like the type of person who I shower and everything the night before, so that I can wake up, throw on clothes, and go out the door. Uh, so I was going to wake up at seven thirty to get in by eight today. Uh, but I woke up at six thirty, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to play a Dota game. And then I remembered that I told you that I wouldn't play game five. Without letting you know. Yeah, because I'm going to be streaming every single calibration game yeah. of Denny's from here on. So, for raising the hype. Uh, yeah. uh, I am w- hoping the best for you. So 6.30 was way too early. So I'm I, hoping I, the best. I did the international ranked, which I have had one game on. Uh, so I did my second international ranked solo cal game. And the average MMR in that game was like 29.40. Um. So so you talked to me about your calibration like I talked to Proud about my calibration and it's getting fucking old. Um, I will say that much and Proud said the same about mine when I was Look, I'm just saying it. like that's roughly No, where I it's know at, I know you know? you're really excited. I'm I'm ready to be there especially more than anything because like I I I've said it on the show a 100 times by now like the reason I wanted to do it was just to see because I do I I there you feel are, like you feel like you're better than you are. Right, there I I feel like I'm better than where I'm placed on my current account. That I think is you the You feel like you're better n- than what you are. N- no, I think I'm I do think I'm a 2700 player. I do think I'm you, I think I I might even be able to hit 3k and I think I'm solid at 3k. You feel like you're better than you are. I feel like I'm better than that rating describes which is what you are so there are there are plenty you just, like, of recordings i'm just gonna just, like, just gonna move past <laughs> i'm not gonna argue the semantics it's what you are it. i'm not gonna argue semantics uh i don't know it's not even semantics no it's definitely semantics okay keep keep <laughs> so, on keep on trucking i know there are recordings of me especially when we first started this podcast where like i argued against the concept of a trench where you might find yourself unable to because Dota is a game where I, if you're not crazy better than everybody else at that skill level, you're not going to carry the game on your own, right? Like you're not going to be, you can put a 3K player on a team with a bunch of 1500 MMR players and he's not going, he or she is not going to be able to carry that game with 80, with an 80% win rate. You know what I mean? You're not going to put them on a, a, a high impact hero and have them carry the game necessarily it, it, anywhere north of maybe just barely north of 50%, maybe depending on your team. Right. And I, my, the old, my old view of the trench was, Oh, well, if you're better and if you're better than your current MMR, yada, 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 there's a 50% chance you're going to get the idiot and a 50% chance that they're going to get the idiot or that you're going to have the feeders or they're going to have the feeders. And 
while that while that might while that might be true, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to make a quick or even a um a proportional increase in your MMR rating to the advancement of your skill. And it would have taken me ages to claw out of that trench and even more so if I'm down there and I'm getting tilted because I have to explain creep equilibrium again or because I I I have to play a carry who's buying fucking wards or don't get or have five cores on my fucking team. If those elements, even if even if I'm just slightly tilted, I'm not playing at my best. And I and that that will contribute even further to it. Yeah, that's the funny part. Hmm. Do you think it gets better? No, I know that it doesn't. I already know that it doesn't get better. I've already I've already. I, I mean, OK, yes and no. Yes and no. It does get it does get a little bit better. It does get a little How do bit you better. know? Have you ever been I, to heaven, dude? I, because I've been playing in these games now with regular consistency. And I'll say the one thing that I, the one thing I've noticed since playing solo on my own on this account is I run into uh, teams that are just insistent on five core lineups way less often. And in fact, it's so less often that occasionally when there are more cores than we need, or there are going to be more cores than we need because I'm hovering over one myself. I I don't even mind hovering over the support and and locking that in. There are there are differences even just between low two Ks and high two Ks. I, I I'm I'm feeling that impact already. Um, and, and I think I notice it watching you play. <clears throat> you know, I I obviously we've watched you play some games on the stream. Those of us who uh, tune in when you when mm-hmm. you do that, uh, mm-hmm. usually about twelve thirty every day. Although you didn't do it today because I came over. Yeah, um, we could have streamed that too. Yeah, we could have. Um, but, uh, I mean, even you get games where obviously you have somebody who's just fucking awful. <laughs> it's just, who's either, who's an asshole, who's a complete troll, or who just very clearly doesn't know what's <clears throat> going on with the game or doesn't know, uh, you know, what what's happening with the meta. You, you get that kind of shit all the time. Before 706, how many times did you see somebody pick a fucking anti-mage whenever AM just wasn't doing much, you know? Yeah. That kind of shit happens. What are you, are you, are you going to talk about how I handle it now? I think you handle it well. I Sure, if you want to talk about that, sure, yeah. yeah. No, I think you handle it. I think for the most part you handle it well. <clears throat> um, it, I, don't get in, I don't get in, like, stupid arguments with people over the internet. Sure. I don't. Okay, yeah, sometimes. When? I don't know. You just wanted to say sometimes. Yeah. I hate that. I don't. <laughs> okay. I don't. Okay. Like I'm never mad on stream. I'm no, just, you no. know. What I mean? Oh no, I've seen you get mad on stream. I saw I you get mad on stream <laughs> earlier this week. Oh, proud, yeah. No, 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 no. You had a game where you were like, you were like losing it, and you were like, okay, all right, and you like were actively trying to calm yourself back down. You know, I, I think that? I'm usually mad at myself more than I'm mad at other people, though, because I know that I'm like I'm fucking up. Because that's the worst is when. You, oh, absolutely. When, if I'm fucking up, then then that just ugh, there's no coming back yeah, from that. It hurts. But like, you know, if I pick, say, Slark and there's an anti-mage that's coming in my lane, I'll go jungle or something. And I'll just be like, this is what I get. It's how the game works. Uh, the other team gets it as often as I get it. And I <clears throat> yeah. guess it's my turn to get the shit stick. You sure. know what I mean? Yeah. For um, sure. But it, you... You know, and don't get me wrong, like, the more common the more common thing to happen at, like, 2K and below games is that both teams have the shit stick. You know what I mean? That's That, I would say, is the more frequent thing. And then it's just a fucking flip of the coin. And I'm not a good enough player to... I'm not a good enough player to carry a team. And, I, I you know... And it, weirdly enough, sometimes doing the right thing can... It, it almost feels like it works against you if, like, I'm playing that AM who does need to get farm, who does need to you know, not be with the team and I'm getting yelled at constantly to be with them and I'm doing the right thing. And then they're going into fights they shouldn't be going into and getting killed over and over and over again. Well, then it doesn't matter that I'm doing the right thing. This episode is brought to you in part by the mute button. (laughs) But uh, you uh, you know what I mean though? Like there, there are differences between those skill levels and yeah, that's what I wanted to, you know, I, that's what I wanted to move past. I just want to see. I wanted to see, and I knew. I like. I. I, knew I will say, in I will, my heart of hearts, I will, that I. I could move yeah. beyond that. I will say, when I was in the high skill and very high skill games, um, 
which I'm in normal skill games now because I'm barely three K. I'm two. I'm not even three K. I'm twenty nine ninety one as it stands right now. Um, but I have three double downs, so I'm either gonna be like, <laughs> I'm either gonna be like twenty seven fifty, or I'm gonna be like thirty one fifty. We'll see how that goes because I'm gonna do them bam bam. I wonder bam. how those double downs would affect the calibration rank. You can't you can't double down in a calibration game. I don't know. I doubt I you know. can. I see the option all the time. I just never do it. Whoa. That would be some, like, you only get one chance. I mean, <laughs> I, I think maybe yeah. you should test it. Ugh, I don't know. It feels dangerous. It feels like a good way to. You see that you have the option yes. to double down? Yeah, it seems like a really great way to fuck my calibration. That's what it seems like. Or it time. just doesn't do anything. Or that. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird that yeah. it gives you that option. That option you, you is don't, available. You don't technically have an MMR to double down upon. Yeah, right. That's my point. So like, it's like, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Um. I've realized that, yeah, uh, I'm, I like, uh, yeah, in high skill, my point being in high school and a very high skill, you would get, you would, the one thing I noticed is you would get a team. And what I mean by that is you would get three cores, you'd get a roamer, you'd get a support. The support would buy support things, the support would do support things, the carry would kill creeps, the mid would kill, well, and ask for ganks and shit like that. Like, Even better. It was fun. Supports understand that it supports understand what their responsibility is. But the issues that you get when you start to get closer to 4K is I know everything about this game. Sure. And I am the best that ever was <laughs> here pretty soon. I'm surprised EG hasn't noticed me because I'm yeah. almost 4K. And those yeah. personalities ruin games in a different way. Sure. But you know what? It'll be what what's funny is it'll be a refreshing change of pace. Mm-hmm. To what I've experienced thus far, yeah. I, I I still haven't encountered anything that, quite like that. But you get what's it's. I think it's honestly more frustrating when you see somebody that's capable of playing the game, and because say, say I'm Spirit Breaker, I chose a the roaming Spirit Breaker, and I do a charge that I shouldn't have, and I die, and that's what happens. I die, and I give the kill to their carry, and then our carry says, y- "You fucking noob, I'm just gonna feed." And then you see a game sure. that is worse in a way to know that, yeah, I made a mistake and now this guy's just going to feed and literally ruin the game yeah, because of that. For it. Um, and punish himself and punish yeah. everybody oh, sure. else. <clears throat> I would punish rather, everybody. I'd rather have incompetence than uh, te- temper tantrums. Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. You know what I mean? I really would. Like the, the, and, or the temper tantrums on like, I, c- I can't believe you warded there. Like, because they know everything. And if you don't do things according to how they know everything, well, they're just going to ruin the game. So here's the deal. I, what, what I'm enjoying. And that's what, painful. What I'm enjoying most about it is when I play a core, which I'm starting to do way more frequently than I ever did with support, even though my heart isn't supporting at, at like what I wish I was doing more often than not is supporting. But I, I had a game the other day where I played, um, um, I think it was Crystal Maiden. Um, are you trying? Are you remembering my Crystal Maiden game, no, or are you no, remembering no, no, no. your I'm, Crystal? I'm Maiden remembering game. my Crystal Maiden game. I can mine play. was one straight from yeah. Like yours was, I watched that hell, one. Dude. I did happen to catch that. Dante one. Aligari wrote about it, dude. <laughs> so, uh, but no, I had a Crystal Maiden game that um, I I realized I felt super rusty on on support duties. Um, yeah, it was uh, like three days you, ago. You felt super rusty on Charlie work? That's right. <laughs> I felt super <laughs> rusty on all the Charlie work. And, uh, I mean, it was bad. Like, yeah, 2, 14, and 9 was that, that Crystal Maiden game for me. Um, and I, That's and not I just, like 0, 20, and 14 or something <laughs> like that, or 0, 22, and 14. But it just got to a point where I the enemy team the enemy team was so far ahead of us um, that it was just one of those games where it, just, it sucked to be the fucking Crystal Maiden. Um, and, and it was me being the nice guy. It was me being the, like, I had set myself as a core in the bot lane. Some guy added himself as, um, uh, he added himself as a Sven. Oh yes. I remember this game. He added himself as a Sven to the bot lane. Then he ended up going arc warden. This was actually one of my calibration games. Then he ended up picking arc warden safe lane. And I was, I was so mad. I, I looked at that game and he, so he was six and eight. He did not do as bad as you, you said. He, he was, he just, he was incompetent. Like that was he the was the most competent player was, on your team though. 
<sighs> pull up that game. I have that game. Because I, I I pulled it up and looked at it, and I was like, oh, that Denny, that exaggerator. Like, no, Gordon, he was pretty incompetent. He wasn't as incompetent as you. Incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> but I was a crystal maiden in a game against a fucking Sven and a storm spirit. You made it sound like he didn't know how to use his skills, and I'm going to say six and eight, he knows how to use his skills. Uh, he was not great, uh, regardless. It, it, Ark Warden just wasn't the fucking pick there. Like, Ark no. Warden safe lane? Like, why not? No, it wasn't. It, it but just, you it made it sound like pick. he was a bad Ark Warden. He wasn't a great Ark Warden. I don't think anybody's a great right. Ark Warden, except maybe No Tail, but like, you know. Anyway, play it. beside the point, I picked the Crystal Maiden and I realized that I, I felt super rusty on the, on the support and, because I've been playing so many cores. And now all I'm doing is playing core. Um, and it's. It's more or less, I mean, it is basically how I climbed. Like, I, you know, I can look at the heroes that I've played on this account. My top uh, five are Anti-Mage, Spectre, Bloodseeker, Phantom Assassin, and Viper. Um, I don't even have a support on my top ten list. Underlord being, an, Underlord and Centaur being the offlaners that I've played. Like, I don't even have a support on the top ten list. Um, so now I'm super fucking rusty. But anyway, the, my point being where all this began it's it's been nice to have supports in lane who unlike when i play a 2k game who are fucking auto attacking the creeps who aren't buying a fuck a single fucking ward who don't who don't understand just the basic fundamentals about when to aggress or when to back off like that kind of shit doesn't happen in 2k but it does happen near to 3k like people are starting to get a a feel for that and you're starting to get, you know, a team, like you said. Mm-hmm. And I don't yeah. know, that's been nice. I, I, I'm just enjoying that. That's yeah. what I wanted to get out of 2K for. I want to play that kind of Dota. I want to move up to the next step and well, improve from there. You'll get that. And um, I, yeah, I, like, I, like I've said on many shows and I'll say it on the show that I'm on with you, I have no doubt that, you, that you're a 3K player and that you can make it there. Um, as far as playing core in 3K, it gets a lot harder. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I, um, you know. Because, like, I don't know, um, your supports are going to try to help you, but the offlane is going to try to hurt you just as much as your supports oh, are going to try to help you. I'm going to go back to me. supporting. That's, I mean, that's what I did. Lich was 3150 to 3550. And then it was basically, what what was I spamming to get to when I got to 3800? I did some Lena in there back when Lena was ridiculous. Um, oh, Viper. And Viper was just like... Um, I want to hit 4K before the baby's born. Yeah, if you recall, <laughs> uh-huh. I'm gonna go the easy route. Mm-hmm. Um, and now the baby's been born. My Dota has gone way down as far as how much Dota I'm playing. I'm li- like, hmm, let's see. Like if you look pre baby born to post baby born, man, you actually can do that because uh, <clears throat> let's see, I've got your open Dota open right now, but. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna look at your MMR trend. Uh, so when was the baby born? November. November thirtieth. So oh, I can't go back any earlier than December tenth. Well, December tenth is a pretty good way place to start. Although from December tenth, December tenth, you were thirty fifty four MMR. Thirty fifty three zero five four. Yeah, you didn't hit thirty eight hundred until February tenth. So the wow. Yeah. And then it's been the slight, slight. We'll call it I'm slight. To be nice. <laughs> we'll call it slight slight decline. Um, it's only like nine hundred points. Yeah. It's more like seven hundred. Yeah. So fifty. No, your climb was after the baby was born. Uh, yeah. He was good luck, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I feel like. Oh no, my rush was to calibrate before the baby was born, and then I was. That's climbing. right. I think maybe, I don't know. Yeah, because you've been using this baby thing as you're like, oh, yeah, since a baby, I don't play as much Dota. But you got a fuckload of games on here, my friend. Um, let's see. I was working, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're working. Part of my job. So if every one of these is 20 matches. Okay, I'm going to, don't you worry. I'm going to figure out how many you've done here. And we'll just go until it well, says look at my three activity months charts. Ago. Like, you can just look by my activity like I have big circles. So you've had 400 matches in 3 months. More over 400 matches in 3 months. Hmm. Well, then that excuse isn't valid. I'll have to find another one. <laughs> um I started playing core a lot, the Doom. 
I started playing. Doom. No, it was the Doom. You know, yeah. as, as much as you as you want to give old Faf a, a ton of shit. No, um, I don't want to give Faf shit. He was right. He's like Doom. This is going to lead you bad yeah. places. <laughs> and I was like, he was dead. Faf, right. you you Faf. I was in the chat for that moment, and I remember thinking, you know what? He's probably right. Like this is this is where it's going to go. But I was having too much fun. Was the problem? Yeah, Just too much fun. And yeah, it. You know, I uh, I. I feel okay. like there was a mental shift too, where mentally I just was like, I reached. So what was happening is I went from like that thirty-seven fifty to thirty-five, which felt huge. Thirty-eight fifty-three was your high point. Yeah, thirty-eight fifty-three. So I went from thirty-eight fifty-three to thirty-five hundred, roughly. That that initial fall was enough for me to just throw my hands in the air and be like, "Fuck it." And then I do remember that moment. Yeah. I do remember whenever you I remember when you I gave could have up. salvaged. I could have yeah. salvaged and I could have because I was like, that's 300. Like I'm now 14. Like I was at a point where what? That's 150 MMR. So I was like 12 games. Yeah. From you 4K. know what the shitty thing is, is now if you went and recalibrated the max you'd get is 35. I know. I, but the thing like whatever. Um, I know you want to get better at Dota. I want to explore. This I am a better bit. at Dota. No, I know. I, I, but I mean, I know you want your MMR to be higher. I want to explore this. I want to. I want to. I because this is you keep okay. making these comments about For like sure. oh you don't want to okay. do it. Oh, I'm not. Be yeah, I'm not going to be a liar. Like of course it'd be cool to see myself at 5K. Like that's the, right. that's the real goal. For sure. Me. Yeah. I want, and only because I want to be like Ursi. I don't. I. I don't think <laughs> well, you're. Ursi doesn't play enough uh, enough solo ranked for that to. Yeah. For him to ever well, budge. Well, from what 5K I want to do. So what I want to do is prove to him that he's not five k. <laughs> oh because no. Because <laughs> that's why I would want to get five k. Is because he'd be like, hey, I'm five k now. We should. We should both see how high uh-huh. into five k we could get. <laughs> I and, think Ursi's five k. Um, I don't. I think he's a. I think he's an MMR hoarder, like a dragon who swims around in his coins, dude, but never spends any. Never spends any. Never puts any on the line. When was the last time Mercy played? October was October the last. Was, was the last ranked solo. What? Yeah. So he hasn't even played a ranked solo in seven point oh. No. Mercy, defend yourself. Are you shitting me? Yeah. That can't be. I don't think he's five k. Okay. I think. I think the changes to the map and everything. He saw jungle camp spawning every other minute to jungle camps going back to the way they were. And still hasn't played a ranked match in that amount of time. <laughs> like it's he just he wants the five k and he's and he has it and good for him. I guess you can do that. But I think that's like why not try and get six k? You know what I mean? Like six k okay. is way impressive. Five k is like okay, cool. Like you're one percent. Be top ten per top tenth of a percent. So his MMR history goes back to October seventeenth, twenty fifteen. Yeah. And you're so he there was, has there was something in the thread okay, about he, Izzy. He's at fifty thirteen. He flatlines on playing solo ranked <clears throat> until December twenty eighth. He did play a solo ranked. He dropped to forty nine sixty five. Then he on January fourth gets back up to forty nine ninety. Then he plays his last solo ranked game on January twenty twentieth or twenty second. Oh, I heard. Well, it's been so fifty seventeen. So months. he, yeah. So it's been a while. Been five been a months. While. Um, Mercy, five Gotta months, do it, bro. And I mean, I know Proud's still mashing the ranked out, and even Flub, Flub's hit like fifty three hundred. Who was the other five k? Um, I want to see Proud. I want to see Proud. So like, I can probably find him through your because you and Proud have played together ample. Not very recently. And he always has his name changed to like Megatron. Is it King I, Yi One's yeah, number one? Probably, probably, yeah. Number one fan is that? Mev, if no, so. that's got that's an Ursi Smurf. It's a yeah. Oh, here we go. Core player. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, that's his. That's a Smurf. Oh, that's a Smurf. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Um, here I can actually tell you. Is he Oh My? I can tell you. Hold up. Yeah, solo MMR fifty twenty two. This is a this is him. Oh my. Oh okay. So looking at proud. Yeah, damn, he's been all over the place, and he dropped down to forty nine forty seven very briefly in February, and then he has climbed back up since. Yeah, you're right. He plays. He, I mean, he doesn't play as much as like say you or I. But, but he's willing to say, let's he, see if I let's see if I'm still five k. He hit fifty one seventy four. That was his yeah. peak. It looks like. Mm-hmm. 
And I feel like there's there's a lot of like oh, excuse me, fifty two twelve. Yeah, he's That's been he's speed. been fifty two hundred before. So like, I feel like there's a lot of respect and no offense, Cersei, but to people who don't just to stop at it. a number repeated to or see or like am I am I still five k in in two weeks from now? Have I am I still five k in a month from now? Am I still five k? Because yeah, you have the number, you earned that number. I'm not saying that you weren't five k at that point. Right. I'm just saying, are you still? 5K? But you see that like a stat. In the sense that it's a snapshot, right? Yeah, it was. It's a snapshot of that day of his play that led up to that. Right. What's happened since? Well, I mean, yeah, I. I mean, he's he's changed roles up a lot. He's not he's not playing support. He's playing mid, a lot more mid. Um, and yeah, that's gonna that's gonna fuck with your MMR. Yeah. I I can't argue that much with that. So, like, what I'm saying is, like, I could have I could still be thirty eight fifty. And you would and and say you calibrated at thirty five. Sure, you, you would be like you haven't played ranked in fucking how, when I calibrated thirty eight fifty was probably three months ago or something like that. Yeah, it was like or, February. I want to say. Yeah, so you would be like, I bet I'm I'm I bet I'm thirty eight fifty. No, you're and, right. And, and, yeah, and I and I would you would you would, would. totally I'd do give that. You, I'd give you hard and I and I'd be like, no, dude, I just don't like ranked. I feel like there's just a bunch of <laughs> dumb people, and I come up with all these excuses why ranked is bad. Right? No, you're right. I, you're absolutely right. I would give you immense shit. I would I would tell yeah. you repeatedly that you got to test yourself. You're a hundred percent. And so. Yeah. And all I do is play solo ranked when I'm not playing like party with you and Rin or something like that, which is very like becoming more and more rare. Yeah. And so I feel like I got that 3850. I started fucking around and I'm still kind of fucking around. And I feel like I'm pinpointed straight at 3K. Um, so I I feel like I could climb again if I yeah. if I shrunk my hero pool and got way serious. I agree. Although at the same time, I mean we're we're gonna be within like 200 mmr of each other maybe i i even say i hit like six twenty six hundred. 2600 i we're gonna be within like 400 yeah, we're gonna be other. within like reaching we're gonna be within we could queue at the same time solo and maybe get in the same game yeah so and, and we definitely both took different paths as For far sure. as how we played like there are still heroes i have never played a game on which is insane to me. Yeah. On this account, there aren't heroes I haven't played on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I can't. I, I don't think I could tell you. I don't think I could like list them uh, from memory. I bet I could list heroes you haven't played. I am positive you've never played Visage. I'm positive. Uh, no, I've played Visage. It was miserable. I'm positive you've never played <laughs> it Techies. one time. Uh, no, I've played a Techies with you, for sure. Uh, um, I'm positive you've never played Meepo, but that, that's understandable. Um, let's see. Here are my here are my not played. I've never played a game of Arc Warden. That's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never played a game of Bat Rider. Wow, really? Yep. Never played a game of Beastmaster. No shit. Never played a game of Brewmaster. Chen. I, this is a long list. Clinks. Clockwork. What? Clock? You've played Clockwork? Nope. Not once in your entire Ever Dota in my career? Dota career. I have never played Clockwork. Oh, dude. Clockwork's right up your alley. <laughs> you could play Clockwork. Uh, let's see. It lists Dragon Knight and Ember Spirit, but I've played those on alternate accounts. Uh, oh, I've never played a game of Enchantress. Oh, my God. I've never played a game of Kunkka. Oh, my God. Leshrac. Not even during the the TI5 days? No. Uh-uh. No Kunkka, no Leshrac, uh, no Magnus, no Meepo. Oh, Mebo. my God. Magnus. I have Ma- never played a game of Murana. Not a single match since wow. starting this podcast. Uh, never Naga played. Siren, never Night Stalker. What Night? I know I should play. I think about playing Night Stalker all the time. Actually, he's, he's really one. not hard. To um, play. it lists Puck, but that's a lie. I've played Puck. Uh, list Queen of Pain for some reason. That's a lie. Shadow I know you've got. I've never played Queen. Storm Spirit. Oh my god! Never once. Uh, I've never played Venomancer, and that's the list. Some of, you just listed like five of my favorite heroes. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, well, in some of those, like if you want to go back to like the the early days, so when Arc Warden came out, Arc Warden you were kind of like toying with, and that was kind of like your thing. Because when we were for a long time, you and I just we didn't want to share heroes. Yeah, we just played different heroes, and we and we played together enough that it, like there wasn't yeah there was no need to even worry like, about it. That's that. why Silencer is. I've played Silencer, but I. I probably have less than 10 games on silencer Yeah, because you picked up silencer right. early on. 
Um, I remember when you figured out you could right click glaives, so it always threw glaives. Oh, that was the like, day, dude. That was like in the first like four, forty or fifty games we ever played. Dude. I know. And you're like, was, all you have to do is right click it, and like, then he throws his glaives every time. All the time. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Um, uh, that's in, that's crazy because in my first forty or fifty, I was going Venom mid. Basically. Yeah, um, <laughs> right. and just doing the plague ward thing, yeah. um, which later yeah. became a popular thing for a second yeah yeah you you were ahead of the trend on a few things here yeah, and there a few things um but yeah no i just well i'm like venom answer there's the reason i've never played a game of venom answer because that that was one of your big heroes like you were you what were about terror blade hero. have you you have yeah i've been playing terror blade uh, I, I, in okay. fact so a lot of my or, uh like three or four of my recal games have been with terror with terror blade uh, just because he's so fucking good. Yeah, he's really good. He's, he's too and good. his last hit animation super easy. I remember Terrorblade when I was doing the All Hero Challenge. He was, I think it's before they gave him the regen buff because I think I can't remember what patch he got a regen buff, but he was just the squishiest squish thing in the world. Yeah. And it took me like seven games of Terrorblade to get the win on the. Although All Hero. I figured out the, the you want to know what I played even when he was weak against Terrorblade and with a lot of success it was Anti Mage. Anti mage. So you... once you get Manta Basher, <clears throat> once yeah. you get Manta Basher, you don't have to worry about getting sundered by that bastard. Yeah, so... and you're going Battle Fury, so you can clear illusions pretty decently. Mm-hmm. And Terra Blade doesn't you know, it's create that the, many. Illusions. The pick against them is Legion because of overwhelming odds. Oh you yeah, you can get rid of all of his illusions. So yeah. um, that makes sense. And then a Lion level twenty five who can mana drain like eighteen. <laughs> 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 um, no, there's of course there's a lot. Uh, he's a he's he's a hero that. People don't think it's fun to play against. I personally like it sucks when Terra Blade just gets off the hook and is like barreling down a no. lane and you're like, there's no stopping him because yeah. we don't and have. And it's just like, yeah, we're just do fucked. Because like, you have like a Viper. And, and what's shitty is how quick he can hit that critical mass in a game like that where it's like, well, mm-hmm. boy, I wish we had some form of a counter or anything resembling a fucking counter in this team. What I love about Terra Blade is in the laning phase, you go metamorphosis level one. That's what you do. Uh, I just hit it. Right off the bat. Um, like level one, I hit metamorphosis. I can last hit the crit. I can get like the first two waves easy yeah. peasy and harass the offlaner out. Yeah. And may as well put that shit on cooldown is yeah. the way I think it. Like I can sit there and wait for like that prime opportunity to kill the offlane or I can just harass the offlane out and get the first two waves. And so that's yeah. how I play my terror blade is I just pop metamorphosis so, level one. All right. I brought all this up. Yeah. Because, yeah, we chose very different paths to get, like, to roughly. I, I played every hero a million times because I, I love all my children. Right. Or okay. Gaben's children. Um, mm-hmm. And you you specialized on first support, and then you went. You, like, I feel like Wraith King was your transition into carry. I remember. I yeah, remember probably. You I think Wraith was the one. Yeah, because I was like, eh, fuck it. I'll have a, and, I'll have a built-in. And then in. you found a Sven, and then you found a this, and then you found a that. I can't remember exactly your order, but I know I, Wraith I, King I'll tell you what kicked transition. it off was, what like kicked off me dedicating to core was ripping off Proud's PA build. That was where I was, was like. Was it that recent? Yeah, it was that recent. It was, it, that was where I was like, you know what? I'm going to just spam some, I, I see PA all the time. She wrecks noobs. Like, I, I'm. Yeah, your list was a lot bigger of heroes you hadn't played back then yeah oh yeah for sure i had, mean even a you hadn't year. even played. remember when we were all like somebody needs to play specter between me you and andrew yeah and oh, yeah. and we were all like no nah, that's okay that hero's hard <laughs> that there hero's hard like seven of that hero sometimes yeah, yeah. and and then i was <laughs> no, like specter I, uh. my first rampage was on specter in a game with gorgon the wonder cow oh wow and he was what he was doing is he was playing clockwork i've told this story before um and he'd say is your haunt up and I'd say, uh-huh. And then he'd say, okay. And then he hook shot somebody on clockwork, cog them, I'd haunt, and then kill them inside of his cogs. And I got and I ended up getting a rampage in this game. And, and I just remember feeling so cool. Cause I was like, I was with like the join Dota crowd. Like I was just like that like random fifth. And yeah. I was playing like this hardcore carry, which is Spectre, and I get a rampage, and everyone's like, oh my god, yeah, Roland, good job, man. Cause I was a super noob, right? And I just happened to get, like, I had the Radiance, and I did the Rampage at, like, or did the Haunt at the perfect time, and everybody was low. Like, it really was a low-skill Rampage, I'll yeah. say. Like, it wasn't a, a me doing really that much. I just kind of yeah. just burnt people, and then I throw, like, the Spectral Dagger on the last guy, and it's like, Rampage. <laughs> and I, it was like, yeah! 
<laughs> and people were there to see it. And I was like, oh man, I'm in with the joint Dota people now. <laughs> like, I just got a rampage. Um, uh, but, but yeah, yeah I mean, so we, we played a ton of, di- you played a ton of different heroes. I, I always specialized. I always tried to focus on, I always tried to focus on like four or five heroes max. Well, how quickly did I do that all hero? The second it came out, I started that all hero challenge. Within the first year of the podcast, for sure. Within the first probably three, four months, I started that all hero challenge. I would love to go back and start. Yeah. Um, And there were days that I'd blow through like four or five heroes. Oh, yeah. um, Which was super fun because that's what got like, I just, I just felt like, I just felt like you're missing out on this great game. Cause you just kept playing lion and I was like, Oh my God, like there's this tide hunter guy, dude. And he like, just can take this damage. Like he can stack ancients and he doesn't, t- it's crazy. And then it'd be like on the, onto the next here. And I'd be like, Oh my God, like uh juggernaut. This is so cool. He has a BKB. Like you just spin. Well, and like, my whole thing was I, I, I wanted to, one, I wanted to specialize because I felt like by taking away the variable of of having to acclimate to new skills i was actually better off learning new skills because anytime because you know 75 games into lion i don't need to think about what i'm doing with lion or think about what his skills are going to be doing it, it, it honestly it freed me up to start left clicking on other heroes and left clicking on the heroes in the match and seeing okay this is what spike carapace does on nyx assassin I've never played Nyx Assassin, but I know what Spike Carapace does because I took the time to read about it in this match. And I, I that was always why I, I always argued, like, I'll learn whatever hero does through experience with those heroes. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily experience playing those heroes. It can still just be experience playing against them. So, but I, I bring, obviously, though, the, the, and this is why I brought all this up, playing every hero helped you to be able to, when you did decide to shrink down your hero pool, Mm -hmm. climb pretty fucking heavily. Well, that was like, I remember looking when I hit 3850, and I could scroll down on my hero list and be at like, that's when I was 3500, like one scroll down. That's when I was 3300, one scroll down. Right. That's when I was 3100. It was within the span of like 40 games, 40 or 50 games that I climbed from 3150 to 3850. Um, and it was through Lich. I felt like Lich was extremely overpowered, especially with his movement talent that you could get at level 10. Uh, I would just, I'd support in lane as long as I needed to. And then I would uh, pick up bounty runes. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I'd look for just basically buffing the team. Well, Lich is sure. good in pubs. You're naturally pulling the wave, even if you aren't pulling naturally the lane. Naturally pulling the wave. Here. And I was willing, and I, came, I got to this point where Weaver was really in vogue toward the start of 7.0. Where I was like, I don't fucking care about gold. I'm lich. I don't care. I have mana that's always going to come to me. Um, I was bu- I was building tranquils, so I was like, Psh, I like I'm good. I don't need mana. I'm like I have an ult that comes off cooldown. I've sacrifice. I have Q. And so I just I'd spend like two thousand, three thousand gold a game on just sentries, and just make sure that everywhere was sentries. Yeah. And that and then guess what? Weavers can't do much if they run into like four sentries yeah, because I have a place. Shikuchi. Yeah. yeah. Like, they don't just shikuchi through a sentry ward. They shikuchi through, like, four sentry wards that I've placed, and they die. <laughs> yeah. Um, I climbed a lot with that. Um, and then Viper mid, getting people to listen to me. Um, and that was where, like, communication really came in, where I was like, but I have mech, we move on do mech. You, do you feel like that wide variety of hero pool helped prep you to, to shrink it? Sure, because I know that, like, clock, I know how much damage a clockwork can take. I know how much damage, like, w- when I was up against Lich, like, I could look at, like, a, a half-health clockwork and be like, there's no way back up. Or or Viper's a better example. Like, uh, when I'm, I'm the guy that was, like, leading the fights early on, and I would know who to target because I've played all those heroes. And I yeah. know that, like, oh, man, I know that, like, although it seems that we can't take this PA, there's no way she has enough levels in Blur at this point. We're going to go PA. We're going to take her out. It's going to be easy. We're just going to, we're just going to dominate PA. We're going to leave everyone else alone. Or Pudge, for instance. Pudge is going to really hurt us in a team fight. He's going to pull us away. He's going to dismember. He's going to rot. We're going to kill the Pudge. Um, uh, Lena. Lena's weak. Kill Lena. She's going to put out a shitload of damage in the fight. Um, but she's sure. super easy so, to kill. Okay, so... Yes, it helped me in the fact that I played right. all those heroes. So it was boring here's as fuck. What I'm asking, so, here, here, so, but you played all those heroes at a 2K level. At like between 2K and 2200, bouncing back and forth between those, I'd say. I climbed to 2550. At one point. Yeah. But the vast majority of that time being 
within like that two. two I would say like fifteen hundred. Honestly, fifteen hundred yeah. to twenty five hundred. Well, but I mean, heroes. oh yeah, sure. I guess earlier on, but maybe like thirteen hundred to twenty five hundred. Yeah. I played all the heroes. Um, so of course, like Shadow Fiend, I played a lot around like the two K even mark, and yeah, I can do a triple race. I understand. I know I could pop on a Shadow Fiend, and I know for a fact that I could like I know the range of his long rays, his short rays, and his close rays. Does that mean that I can go into lane and last it with him well? No. I played a bunch of Drow Ranger. Does that mean that I can last it with her before level 6 better than somebody else? Probably not because it's hard as shit and you need pra- yeah. constant practice. Oh, no shit. And so that's the that's like my big pitfall is because I not I don't play Drow every day, if so, I pop on Drow, I can't last it with her. For so shit. here's why I bring that up. You So just for ease of discussion, you spent... A ton of time bet- hovering between let's go eighteen hundred to twenty two hundred MMR, mm-hmm. playing whatever the fuck you felt like, usually, and testing yourself and rising and falling. Usually in, in those, in those races. just looking to have fun, honestly, because right. it was like this hero, like Alchemist. I have a twenty four percent win rate on Alchemist on my main account, and I played him like sixty times, and I have a twenty four percent win rate. Yeah, but it's fun. Like, I was like, that, especially when, like, the Manta, Octarine, Radiance, uh, Boots of Travel thing came out. Like, I want to do that. Yeah. I wasn't good at it, but I wanted to have fun. Because ultimately, like, it, especially during that phase, Dota was fun. It wasn't about, so, like, So, but now, yeah. now you're back to kind of doing that, wouldn't you say? Um, With these, with these double downs, mm, I'm taking it a little more seriously. Oh, because, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like... When I have double downs available. Okay. Um, but like, for instance, I've been 3250 within the last week. And I'm now and I'm now 2991. Um, so like I get into this comfortable position where it's like, you congratulations, you've solidified 3K. And then I'm like, all right, let's pick something crazy here. <laughs> like, okay, let's see jungle DK. That seems like so it would work. What I'm wondering though is while you go through this phase where you play everything again. Mm-hmm. Where you where you're kind of falling back into that that habit? Do I'm you everything? But I'm playing more. Yeah, but you're playing a wide variety. Yeah, a very wide variety. I'm not. I play any position for sure. Yeah. Do you see yourself? Do you think that the next time you make that run at the MMR, that'll be better? Yeah. No. 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 Why not? Because. I don't think I'll, I I don't know. It's going to take something. It's going to take some sort of kick in the ass if I'm ever going to do that again, because that was probably the least fun I ever had with Dota was that climb because playing Lich every single game that made me want to pull my hair out. But I had this like, but don't you think you could, you could have expanded that hero pool to include say, I had Venge in there. I just like, like let's say eight heroes. Yeah. Okay. So, but even with 10 heroes, it just wasn't bored as shit. Yeah. It was lame. Um, and most of the time, like like tree was in there tree yeah, tree venge tree venge lich um i'd play jug i'd play slark um i'd play storm spirit if i had to um but that was rare because mid was usually always taken by like a shadow fiend like there was always a shadow fiend um yeah. mm, i don't know if i ever wanted like I, and i was just so serious every fucking game and i'd only play in the morning and then everything like no I don't want to do that. I don't care. I just, I don't care. I need another reason to care. I was so close to 4K. Well, for one, I had the initial excitement of being 3K because I finally calibrated at 3K. Yeah. And I was determined to get 4K. And Proud was like, you need to get better at this game uh, for the sake of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. And that was kind of my motivating factors were like, I was Proudland was starting up. Um, it had been around a little while, but like there, I was getting constant advice. Um, and then I realized with Doom, I guess, that I can have fun playing Dota again. Um, like that, I had that first Doom game where I had like Midas Octarine, Midas Octarine Refresher, or something like that. So like, I would like use the refresher so I could devour again oh and Midas god. again. Oh um, my god. It wasn't even to Doom twice. I and it was just like I had this like 900 GPM game on yeah. Doom and that was it cuz I I had got a taste of oh that was fun. Um and I guess that's that's always been my 
like I, my thing with Dota, and like when you guys are like, we need to pick roles way at the start of this. I was yeah, like, I, I was like, nah. Like I like them all. I'm gonna have fun. Okay, what about playing on a team? Do you think playing on a team? Because one thing I'll tell you what I've missed. You know what I've missed, especially the last. I've missed it over the last year. I'd say is I do miss the eighty two L days. I, I do miss us. Um, if we found a team that I liked. I don't get along with people in Dota games very yeah. well because I have a very like blase attitude toward Dota 2. Like I don't like bossy people, um, especially when pertaining to me in a, in a very competitive yes. way. Yeah. And I don't like people telling me what I already know. Well, do you, what about being the bossy person? What about being the shot caller? Um, so like, I'll, I'm going to re- revert back to this last uh, episode of with breaky CPK with Cinder and that, no one person's the shot caller. Okay. Um, no one person can have the the presence of mind to shot call everything. Yeah. There there can be ideas. Like I can be like, hey, you guys, I feel like it'd be a good idea for us to find a pick off and kill Roche. You know what I mean? Like to go sure. for a very basic example. Like that that is like, I guess what you call the shot caller. But if you're in mid lane and you're like, there's two here and I'm close. You're gonna say, "Hey, I need you mid." Like, there's another person. Yeah, I, and I, I don't think anybody. I don't. I, I hope that people out, out there don't have that sort of. Uh, like, I feel that's kind of the idea like, I had with shot caller was like, no one says anything unless I say you do it because I'm the shot yeah, caller. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that's. I just I don't so think that's it because yeah, you're right. Like one person, there's a lot going on in a Dota match. Mm-hmm. You, you're never gonna have one person who, even no matter how good you get, and it have to be people I respect. Because that's another thing. If I'm going to if I'm going to listen to somebody and what they have to say, especially when it comes to Dota, because we all have this like weird thing that when the Dota game's going, we all think we're like really good, mm-hmm. and that's like a major issue with Dota in general and its growth oh, for sure. Is that everybody has this like giant ego about themselves uh, when it comes to Dota? And I'm not going to say that I don't. I'm just going to say that like I'm just not going to get in arguments with people about things like. I, in my mind, am saying, oh, what an idiot. They should have done this. Like, I'm just like everybody yeah. else. I'm just not vocal about it. So I have to, res- like, I've got to have some mad respect for you if you're going to be telling me what to do. So who could, I mean. Like, it would have to, I'd have to be on a team with people way higher than me. That if I were to take orders, I guess. Like, I, like, even if, even if they're right, even if the person that is of my skill is right on the specific order they're giving. I'm probably going to just take it with a grain of salt. But unless, you know, like, and even proud, I'm getting to the point where it's like, I don't care what you have to say, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, like, it would have to be with some people that, like, I definitely respect their play. And, and if I were to be on a team a- and take it super seriously. Or it'd have to have some really damn good supports because I would definitely want to play safe lane carry. Yeah. Hmm. Um, that would be, I, I, and I'm just like being on a team, like, I don't know. I feel like people like there there were times in during eighty two L where we were it was those were the most fun. Like there was one time, one time that I can think of where it was me, you and Andrew, Easy and Joy Thief. Yeah. And we were just in this like we were like a clock where we were yeah. just we we were all in sync, communication was great and we were winning. And it was just it was beautiful. It was like it was the probably the most fun I've ever had playing. Dota. And it wasn't an easy game either, but it no. was still it was and we had like Joy, how are you doing? And it was like Easy was like, all right, I'm rotating here. And it was like, how's mid? And it was like, oh, I'm suffering a little bit, but I think I can make it back up. And it was like, Andrew, how's safe lane going? And he's like, 62 and, and you know, I'm 62 last it's in. And it's like awesome. And we had this like perfect synergy going. But if you look at the personalities on that team, we had Andrew, who is somebody I wouldn't normally play with, but he's my brother, so I dealt with him. Yeah. Uh, I had you, who I got, I get along with. I had Joy, who I got along with. I had Easy, who I got along with. And nobody was really giving ultimatum orders on that team. Yeah. Nobody was giving retrospective. And we were shit. also still relatively new at the time. Yeah. So nobody felt like nobody felt and like Andrew they knew probably everything. definitely felt like he was probably the best on the team. And he probably was the best on the team. Yeah. Um, definitely. Uh, but we didn't have retrospective bullshit. Like, oh my God, I can't believe you died like that easy. Don't do that next time. Yeah. That's not helpful. Talk about that after the game. Don't talk about that during the game. Morale matters. Go watch True Sight. Like yeah. and and what and, and 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 then say morale doesn't matter. Yeah. Morale matters a ton. I'm yeah. going to play better if we're in a calm atmosphere where people are supporting me. It's not supporting me like 
in the Dota sense, but supporting me in the fact that like I believe that you can pull this out. Like yeah. I believe that this team, that our team, is better than theirs. So like that cuts out like ninety nine percent of the people that I know that play Dota. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so forming a team would be a hard, a big yeah. issue. I, I do miss it though. I, I miss the. Go for it. I miss the because you can get you can get along with people a lot better than I can. Because my issue is just like I'm just like Ugh. like you know somebody's like we really need you here because last time yeah. last time you went here it didn't really go exactly as planned. The problem and it's like you're right, but I don't care. The problem for me with it is, is scheduling. It, oh it, yeah, and we're so and tough. we're super yeah. busy and like. But that is that is something I miss. Like if we ever get to the point where I can, quit I wish we could just put hard job. bots on, just like three hard bots and you and I. You know what I mean? No. Like that would be the no. best. <laughs> like I don't want, I don't want. No, I want people. I like the communication. I like the team communication because when it works, it's, it's just, like you described. It's it's one of the more incredibly rewarding experiences mm-hmm. that you can have in Dota. But like the thing with that was, I had great respect uh, out of the game for everybody that was on that team. Like, Joy, yeah. Thief, a really good friend. Eric, a really good friend. You, a really good friend. My brother, and also a really good friend. Like, I had respect for everybody on that team. Yeah. I knew everybody personally on that team. Yeah. Um. So even if, like, a little tiff broke out, like, it was always settled. It was always done. It, there was no, like, arboring resentment or anything like that yeah. towards somebody. Which, it's kind of like a band, dude. It's a lot like a band. Hold, putting a yeah. team together. You gotta, like... You gotta like everybody that you're on a team with. No, if I could, if I could figure it out schedule wise, if I, I, I would definitely do it again. And it's, it's just weird because you, you think you, you get along with somebody really well outside a game, and then you go in game, and you're like, I cannot stand this person. I gotta shut up. <laughs> so like that's been my issue is I just, I get into games and just like, eh, never playing Dota two with you again. <laughs> You know what I mean? That type of thing. Yeah. And that's and that's partially the reason I play solo. It's I know that the problem isn't them, it's me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I they're not the problem, I'm the problem. So like don't form a team with me, basically. Because I am definitely going to be an issue. All right. I'm gonna run through some uh uh iTunes reviews here and okay. before we wrap up the show. Do you get what I'm saying? No, though? I get what you're saying. I, I do. I think everybody does. I it's just, you know, I I don't know. I, yeah. I mean, you're like you're you're go with the flow type guy. I'm not. I'm not a go with the flow. I don't go yeah. with the flow. I I go against current is what uh, I do. I'm, and I butt I don't heads. know why. I don't. Uh, born this way, genetics. Uh, I don't uh, fucking yeah. know. I don't know. Like I blame your parents. Let's I don't. Get in here. I don't know why you wear glasses. <laughs> Maybe it's the cones in your eyes. I don't know. Like it's no, the way I was born, no, dude. That's not it. What not is it at all? Why, why, why do you wear? Well, glasses? I have an astigmatism. Oh. And astigmatism, like yeah. you can have multiple astigmatisms. As, and stig- as, yeah, yeah, you can. You can be astigmatized like seven times. <laughs> like I could like astigmatize him one more time. God, I don't. Have, we don't have time for this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. All, all right. right. All right. Let's go. Let's uh, close. Because we got a few. We're behind on these. And guys, if you leave us reviews on iTunes, we are going to get to them. They are really helpful. It helps with our iTunes rankings. Um, this is one of the best ways that you can like freely support the show, you know, outside of Patreon, outside of shopping when you shop through Amazon. I guess Amazon's kind of free. Well, it's free in the fact that like you don't pay extra. I want this dog toy for my dog. Yeah. If you go to defensivepatients.com and you click through our Amazon banner before you go to Amazon and you're gonna buy something at Amazon anyway, that then it's free. It's free in a, in you a still sense. have to pay for the dog toy. Yeah, we but can't you don't get have you to... that dog toy for free. Yeah. We can't. But we can get you Amazon Prime yeah. for free. That's right. So. That's right. Well, uh, that, we can get you a trial. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that trial is, yeah. is, is creme de la creme. That's right. That's one of the best trials out there. All right. All right. <laughs> so this one's from May 1, 2017, uh, from Be Waka Waka, Easy Dough to Listen. Great mix of different shows, and they make digestible content that is very enjoyable. The team has a good sense of humor, and that shows. Thank you, Bawaka waka. Bawaka waka waka waka. I like Bawaka waka, waka, waka. waka. I believe he lives in uh, Utah. Oh, okay. That Bawaka waka, I believe he lives in uh, near the Salt Lake. Uh, and it was five stars. Uh, next one's five stars. Great for noobs by Haha ha Frankie. I started playing Dota, had no idea what I was doing, and these guys helped with that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Frankie. Thank uh, you, Frankie, very much. Daily Dota, five stars from May 3rd by Minecraft uh, Critic 808. Uh, this podcast is the best I've ever listened to. Wow. Uh, they have the perfect amount of rambling and informational content. Rambling indeed. 
Uh, they have shows Monday through Friday, which is amazing because you almost always have something to listen to and you get to see so many personalities. They have a small enough community that they're so active with everyone. Great show, guys. Keep on keeping on. Uh, we got a 10 out of 10, five stars from Flutterer. Hey, Flutterer. Oh, Flutterer. Uh, so this is the Dota 2 podcast you were hoping for when you just typed Dota into the search bar. Varied content, fun personalities, extremely extremely reliable update schedule, and a great community. No matter what you're looking for, analysis of pro scene, theory crafting interviews, or just plain fun, .p is a fantastic podcast to get into. Plus, they've got an active Discord channel. That's right, discord.gg forward slash .p. You can always find someone to stack with, regular Twitch streams, and more. Definitely worth checking out. You won't regret it. <laughs> I had to get to this one. Great Dota podcast by The Vader. From May 9th. Great to listen to while taking a crap or on a commute to a miserable job. 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, I guess I only got one more. Should I just do them all? Finish yeah, them off? Yeah. Uh, very informative. Five stars by Agent Calculator 69. I've been listening to the podcast for three months now. And I can say that I've been learning a lot of things, even though I've been a player since 2005. Uh, I'd say you guys helped me a lot, especially with catching up with the current meta since I've been out of the game for quite some time. And then when I was trying to catch up with 689, that's when they changed it to 7.0. But because of you guys, it became easier. The seven hour show, <laughs> that was a long one. Yeah, 7.0 patch review. Yeah, it uh, helped me a lot in taking note of the big changes. Yes, I did listen to the whole show. Took me two days to finish it. My only comment at first is I was a bit annoyed with Proud with the amount of cussing that he says on the show, like every fucking word that he says. But I would say he drastically improved a lot now. More power to the show. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. Hoping to play with you guys sometimes. Oh, Disturgence. What up, Disturgence? Oh. All right, that's it. Them's the reviews. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If I've missed your review, we haven't gotten to it, you know, you let us know. Yeah, Proud thinks he was grandfathered into being able to say fuck every other word. Oh, well, you know. I say I I say fuck quite a bit. Maybe we should do like a poll on like, should we ban him from dot P or not for saying fuck all the time? Sure, you know. <laughs> sure, you know, let, 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 let people speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. I love Brad. Uh, all right. I just don't think he's that good at Dota. Better than Ursi, <laughs> though. Better than Ursi. <laughs> Proud's not that good at Dota. Ursi's not as good as Proud. Yeah. Man, yeah, the list just. No, keeps... I'm just joking. They're they're all way better than me. I so to end things off. Okay. Our stream team would be a team that I would play with. Because mm-hmm. I have respect for everybody on that team. Okay. Which cool. is Proud, Ursi, and Grouty, you and me. Okay. I, that's a team that I could play with. Yeah, if only we had the schedules to do it. Uh, you know what I'm really looking forward to with the recalibration more than anything? Is playing with them on their legit accounts. And I know that it's going to be harder. But it's going to be a lot more lessons worse. learned. Right. A lot, and of, a lot lo- of good I'm lessons. I'm looking forward to that next step right. in the Let me. Can I guess what time we're at? Uh, yeah, you So can. we had the ad, and uh-huh. then we had the music. I'm guessing we're at an hour and 15. Ooh, hour and 12. Hour and Ooh. 12. Yeah. Dude, I am good at that. I have this really good circadian rhythm. Uh-huh. Uh, cir- circadian? Circadian. Yeah. Circadian. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, cool. let's close it. All right, find us at defensivepages.com. Click through that Amazon banner on the site like we told you before. If you want to buy anything there that helps the show, patreon.com forward slash defense the patients is where you can very directly support the show. That is our primary source of income, at least at the moment. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at dot P underscore show. Leave us a review on iTunes. We'll read them here on the show. Defense of the patients at gmail.com. Uh, that's going to do it. That's enough. That's plenty. Thanks guys for tuning in. And uh, until next time, this is Cyphus for Roland saying good luck. Good luck.